Hi everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange, True Colors. This is the last episode, or chapter, whatever you want to call it, and I'm very nervous because... What the hell? You saw, you saw how it, the chapter four ended, so I'm very concernicus, and um, I just hope it goes well. We still have licensed music off, so that's why you're not hearing anything. But before I continue, if you guys have been following the series or you're new to the channel just by clicking on this one because you like to skip to the last chapter to see reactions, hello, welcome back. And um, if you guys want to go ahead and sub and like and comment, that'd be much appreciated. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. There was a patch for this, so I think it didn't use to... It didn't used to mute the menu music, but now, now it is. I guess it decided it was licensed. I'm nervous. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I'm assuming this is in our mind. I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. <clears throat> Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. What's that? You helped some people. That was weird. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. Oh, my lover. But Alex, you're right back where you started. What? Why? I didn't Good. pause it. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. I knew this one would have some psychological stuff, just like Max's psychological journey she went through. Ooh, oh, I like these. What the fuck? I love the inner monologue and and learning and inner discovery. Look, they're all me. I love this part so much already. So interesting. Is that what I look like? Really? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. 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 Who's there? Oh, God. Oh, that's spooky. Um, Alex Chen? Never my heard of her. My guitar case has never heard of me. Hmm. Sure. Hey, we've been playing music. Huh. Of course there would be a pin code. All right. What was it? Six digits or something? Five? I think it was five. Okay. Um, we all know I'm not good at reading math and numbers and clocks. Oh, well, there's a lantern. It is... Okay. Okay, it's what two? What was that? Two fifty or something? Oh, puppy! It's a creepy drawing. I guess that's me. Easy peasy. Case number five three three two two. 
53322. Open it. Alexandra Alex Chen, age 21, gender female. Emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual hallucinations. What was that? Oral. Oh, okay. Your oral? It's not oral. Or oral? I don't know. I don't know. Delusional ideation, depression, anxiety diagnosis. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Thrown oh, down. God. A... What? Oh, God. Is this like what happened? Alex experienced a detailed and robust delusion that she was able to read other people's emotional... Are they going to try to convince me I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. Please, God, tell me this wasn't all like a fucking hallucination or something. I will lose my shit. Because of this ability, she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker... Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hy hyperbolic to speculate <clears throat> that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those as as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, her body shatter shattered against the jutting board and errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Accurate. That is what happened to me. Alright, oh god. Dr. Lynn always recorded our... records our sessions. Years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best <clears throat> for you. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. What made her think she could do that? I mean, I guess it's her subconscious. She can do whatever she wants. <clears throat> oh, Lord. In search of one missing patient's answers to Alex. She is always scratching at the door trying to get out, but she is declawed. So her capacity to fend for herself is minimal. If spotted, please exercise caution when approaching. She will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavioral issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get really worried. I'm not a cat. How did I even get back here? Attention, residents. Please join me in welcome Alex, welcoming Alex Chen back to Helping Hands. We're happy, though not surprised, that Alex has once more submitted herself to the stultifying, wait, stilutifying, I can read, an inescapable embrace of our institution. In light of all the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind Helping Hand residents that impulses to leave our institution, while understandable, are best resisted. Remember, the outside world is sharp-toothed <clears throat> and possessed of an insatiable hunger and and you are soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into its mouth? Throw yourself instead into mine. You're a weirdo. I missed a lot. <laughs> Gonna have to replay this game. Alright. Oh, jeez, Alex. Stop glitching. Hold on, we can get into this now, right? I kind of forget what it was. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, hold on. I gotta go back and look. I five three three two two. Case number five three three two two. Okay. Five three three two two. Easy enough. Five. Oh, I actually gotta. Five. Oops. Three. Three. This is long. Two. Two. Fix? It's broken? Oh, the tuning. Okay, alright. Nice. I'm afraid to play because I want to play, but it's gonna it's gonna block me. Probably. outside the door. I thought I could do that after. God, she's got a concussion for sure. For sure. For sure she has one. For sure. There's no way. Oh! God. Yeah, your ribs are probably broken, my girl. I... Did you see? Oh my god, that's how she landed? Why does it keep pausing me? What's going on? What's happening? This is not gonna be cool if it keeps doing this to me. I mean, if I jiggle stuff, it doesn't... Maybe it's just like a glitch. Ugh. It did get patched, so... It's gonna break. Don't grab it. farther into the pit. Stop making me pause, game. You're really ruining it. Psst. Alex. Gabe. <laughs> Hi. Gabe. <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Why was that hug so weird? He didn't want anything Dr. to do Mendez with Dr. Mendez to intensive care? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep. Definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. What is happening? 
she was right over there, waiting for me. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Yeah, it's not a very good uh, painting. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Gabe, Alex, I, have some of those. I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. She knew. Even then, she knew. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. Mm, scared me to Might death. have some in there. Probably like blood and stuff though. Oh, she's back there. It was always too hot in this room. She's just on the other side. Why is it doing this? Stop. Oh my god, it keeps pausing me for no reason. Stop pausing me. Very frustrating. I How many to... nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? If it keeps pausing me, I might have to restart the game. I don't know what's going on. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. 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 Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Did she like ask me to pull the plug or something when I was young and I just lied about it? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Time loop? <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. What did we miss? We looked at everything. But I'm sure there'll be something new. Wait. Did I miss something? I think I did. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Water. Oh, that's new. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. Oh. I already looked at that.
What did I miss? She knew. Even then, she knew. It's gotta be dialogue or something. Did There's something so weird and scary no. about watching your dad cry. <clears throat> Can't go that way? All right. Am I supposed to read mom? Did I just miss that? Hi, mom. 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 Water, Alex. Get her some water. Don't worry, Mom. I'll get you some water. I don't know why it's all the way over here. If you need it so often, it should be right next to you. There's something so weird and no, scary. No, I didn't do that. About Take the water, Mom. <coughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. You almost never cried. Even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Oh, she's so skinny. Stop! It's ruining it for me. I don't know why. I, I don't know why it keeps doing that to me. Shh. No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> She's not dead, though. I seen it on the monitor. Is this on my old room? Oh, my old house. Oh, it's Halloween, yes. Are we gonna finally figure out what happened? Like, between our parents and us?
It's a lot of pictures of us, and I had not seen them up until now. Hi, Gabe. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. The lantern's still there from the Black Lantern. I think so. It's been in every flashback. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? What is going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. This be a bad memory. Play your part. If it pauses again, I might be pissed. But also, I might restart my PC if it does. <sighs> it's gonna be silent. There isn't was it? only ever one thing to do when they got like this drown them out and wait for it to pass. The volume dial was my best friend on days like this. Is it gonna silence it? Probably. Yeah. They're fighting. Mom wouldn't like that. Sorry, I can't hear it. It's being hey. quieted for it's okay. YouTube reasons. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? Why are we suppressing so many memories? I want to hear it. What if it's important? I don't know. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I freaking turned it on and now I gotta turn it off. It was my job to keep the peace. No matter what I did. Sorry. I wanted to hear the music, but I guess there wasn't any. But no matter what I did. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. That's all that matters, Alex, is that you did your best, and you tried. This was probably the most expensive thing we owned. It kind of kept me sane. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shoo Shoo. Shoo Shoo? Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was That's an indie. Cool. That's cool looking art. It was too gory for me. 
The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Intermediate level. What's interesting is that lantern's here. I think the lantern's been in every memory so far. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. Oh, they're gross. They're ashy. The light on that lamp looks really cool. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. I want a big lucky cat Thanks like that. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. I only have little ones. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. That was her responsibility? She shouldn't have had to worry about that. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. Ooh. Hey, Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, um, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school, and my dad, like, he was, um, helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay? Okay, either there's a significance to the time on the clock or they just reuse the same clock because that's the same time as the clock in the therapist's office. Almost empty. Almost always. Two cups mm, water rice. for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. We never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Hmm. Oh, I can't go up. But I think we got everything in here. Did I get the TV? Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Water stain. When wasn't this place falling apart? All right, here we go. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke, again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not him? know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, Aww, what Alex. is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <laughs> Aww. <sighs> Accidentally elbowed Alex. Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. It was an accident. Dad, I saw okay. it, was, it was an accident. Really? I'm Still not shitty. <laughs> I can't do this. Did he leave? Was he just gonna leave Dad? us? Is he just gonna leave? <gasps> Someone will come. That woman from CPS. He's just gonna dip? Someone Come on, dude. Dad. That's all he's taking is just some clothes? I'm sorry. Dad, don't pussy out. No. Uh, no. You got it. Dad! 
They should have tried harder and stayed. You don't just up and leave your children. Just because things get hard. I mean, I get it. Things are hard for some parents, but I just, I don't think that's an excuse to leave your kids and just expect child services to just, that they'll be better off that way. It's circumstantial, I know, but. Hmm. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have, and now I'm done. Almost, but not yet. You are 12, I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing, no one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Gotta do the work to get better. Play your part. <sighs> Play my part. So it would seem that all the major events in Alex's life, like critical moments, like her mom dying and her dad leaving, and then I guess this at the orphanage, she suppressed it all. Guess I missed a few days. And worried only about other people's emotions and not her own. Um, how are you holding up? Which can you? be damaging if you don't Can't tend to yourself. Had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be off cod. They put me on so many meds. Wow. I don't know what aripiprazole is. But it sucks. Did any of them ever work? Some of uh, them a barred helped. window? A it's little. like a freaking prison. None. Do orphanages they used to really say have this place wasn't a prison? Bars? I don't know. I don't. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. <laughs> Just cause fuck you. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? 
I remember the kid who put this here. No. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. <laughs> everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. Oh, no. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? They didn't even let her We've have a guitar. we over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. Who's it hurting? That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! That's fucked up. Everyone's feelings were so loud. I just needed something to distract me. Like, you can't even... That's everything. like parents looking at me, isn't it? She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled Then girl. don't adopt if you're not prepared to help a orphan through their stuff. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? Mean? That I'm sensitive. That's what sense being sensitive means. I wonder why she's never found a home before. <sighs> I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something... Off. Broken. Wrong. With her. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? <clears throat> that nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. <laughs> You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. Mm-hmm. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. Mm-hmm. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no That's one true. can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. 
It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Talk about motivation from your brother. Jeez. <clears throat> We are fucked up. How far did we fall? And we fell twice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need my friends to find me. They'll know. Did we still have that match our brother we took? Remember, we had the stuff from his box. Yes! I knew we would use those. I had a hunch that we'd be using this stuff later, and we are. Hopefully there's gas left in the lantern, though. It's probably pretty old. Aren't we? Damn. All right. Some until dawn shit. We are hurt. I've got to find a way out of here. No more ladder. Not that Can I'd I... be much good at climbing. I can't see up. Uh, nothing behind me. Alright. <laughs> this is my run. <laughs> oh. Understandable. So spooky. Mines growing into mines. Just like Jed said. Can't trust Jed. Ew. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. Why is the rat dead? I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt. I so almost much. laughed, yeah. How long has this stuff been down here? Mm, probably 40, 50 years or more, probably. Whenever the mine collapsed, collapsed. We still don't really know for sure what happened. Feeling the emotions of the past right now? Like, are we picking up on some strong emotion that, like, residue, like emotional residue? That aura. 
is the only lead I've got. Oh, oh my god, that's intense. Is that what's happening right now? That's what's happening right now. Wow. All right, boys, getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. He messed up. He kept them down there when they should have left. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was. Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! Hell There's diver. still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> That's what he did. Smells like bit. fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. No, I thought it would be that, and my brain did. Dad. Did our dad? Was our dad here? Was he one of the miners? Like he left and he left. Dad, come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Jed, you gotta stop, man. Wow. Jed! Fuck you, Jed! Come back! It's over, Jed. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow, our dad left and became a miner over here in Colorado. That's probably why Gabe ended up here. Lies. <laughs> Made a bad call. I mean, didn't obviously mean to kill people, but he fucked up. Don't ignore the signs. If you know something's gonna happen, don't let pride take over and make you continue to do something that, you know you shouldn't continue doing like he should have gotten all those guys out when they had the first signs to get out and they didn't and during my time here i've come to realize what makes haven so special it's a flower shop run by multiple generations a bar owner who greets 
every customer by name. I'm about to walk in it's there. It's a spring festival tradition Blow going your back mind. a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built ah. on. Okay. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us town when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. I'm about to fucking blow your mind. <laughs> Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. Yeah, it's his dad. I'm sorry, sorry Ryan. What? I'm sorry, you're a good guy, but your dad Alex, fuck that. You're one. hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? <laughs> Excuse me? Don't pretend. You know exactly what's going on. Don't bullshit me, Jed. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. They're never going to believe me. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Do I have the thing to prove it? The necklace Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote all they care about is making more money they'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through so they decided to bury the evidence yep and nothing was going to stop that blast nope. not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains that's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Anyone? No, just me. Why aren't any of you saying anything? Did they all, f were they all in on it? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Hold up, I swear to God. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. My heart's beating These so fast. These accusations are well, they're insane. Am I just crazy? And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... Make your life seem less unfair. Wait, what's Diane's last name? I'm having an epiphany. Or a, a thought. You know there's proof of the cover-up. 
You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. What's going on? Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Come on, Ryan. You don't believe that, do you? All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. You shot me! This is an act. You're lying. What Please. is happening? I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. Did we get shot or something in the hand? I believe you. Of course I do. But... Okay, no, she's good. What about you, Ryan? Come on. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. Is this going to be dependent on how many people I help? We ought to take her seriously. Oh my god, I hope not. I agree with Ducky. I've always found That's Alex all the people we to be a very trustworthy person. <laughs> she wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. So? Maybe not, but that's what I think. Thanks, Eleanor. Ryan, come on. She won't help me. Charlotte. Because I took her emotion. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. Uh-oh. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's wow. something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I knew I shouldn't have taken her anger. Pike. Come on. I see you wanna you wanna help. How about you? Pike? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. He doesn't have a lot of power here. Alex, just, just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> Ryan? Believe me. We kissed, Ryan. Right? Come on. Ryan? Why are you doing this? What? Ryan? My dad is not a murderer. I know it's hard to believe anyone can be a murderer. We couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? Ryan, don't do this. <laughs> 
What are you I doing? I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. And me. <gasps> I do! I thought you cared about me. I do! Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan. What the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. I should have picked Steph. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. Yeah, After Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. Excuse me? I mean, I get his hesitation. I I get it, but. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. Haven was his second chance. To he was so proud everything. of who he'd become. Admit, admit it. A great boyfriend. <laughs> A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. If we can get him to admit. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Mm. He's not really a pawn. I mean, he just... 
did it. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. Saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. You don't want to go to prison. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Are we telepathically doing this this whole time? Because that'd be cool. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're going to break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. Oh, shit. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, mm -hmm. the worse it grows. Can't bury stuff like that. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. Feel it, Jed. Can't keep it in. That's crazy. What was going on with our eyes? Did we just see all of his... I mean, what did we see? We felt everything. That's crazy. Ah, oh, man, Ryan. He really disappointed me. And the news is still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs. A council oh. meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Wow, we got it all out. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. That was a good aim. <laughs> okay, got some scars. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. I can't believe Ryan just turned on me. I mean, again, I kind of get it. It was his After dad, it's hard to believe. And willpower. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Because I, I get it. a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Oh, she's opening up art commissions again. Awesome. Um, yeah, so, like, I get it. it especially when you have grew up thinking your dad was, like, this great hero. I get it. Family comes first. You take your family's side, usually. But, I mean, why else would I look like that? <gasps> Record traders? Accepting applications? I've got some continued support for you. <laughs> Black Lantern. The phrase, we'll remain recent closed. events, is doing some work in this post. Oh, okay. What's going on outside? Why is it all hazy? 
They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. <laughs> now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. Play interview. What? I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice Diane. was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. They told me to destroy this jacket after the accident, I couldn't do it. When Gabe first stepped into my bar, looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him, when I swore I would return it to both of you. I think you know by now what what my word is worth. I did not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort. Oh. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chan? Chan. And no. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast. And I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Hell diver is a cool fucking name. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. Glad some people did. Ryan. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. <laughs> I felt very close to Ducky after her <laughs> dance. I guess he felt the same way. Can I change clothes? No. Oh. I haven't spoken to Ryan since the vote. What he should he speak to me. To say to him. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Oh, they were so cute. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. The LARP was two days ago. Yeah. That doesn't seem possible. Feels like it just happened. I hope our garden's not all... Hello? Better be Ryan here to and apologize to me. Looks like Ryan. Yeah, what do you have to say? I'm so sorry. Yeah, better be. I know. Displeased with Ryan right now. What you said, the truth about my dad. I, I couldn't accept it. I, I get it. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. After everything he did, you still forgave him. I didn't know it was possible to be that strong. And it gives me hope that maybe one day I can be that strong too. Thank you, Ryan. That means a lot. Anything else? What about us? Do you think you could ever forgive me for what I did? I want to forgive him, but he turned on me real fucking fast. I'll try. I don't know. After everything we went through, you weren't there when I needed you. How can I ever trust you again? Sorry, Ryan. But I, I loved try. you. It just might take time. Mm hmm I can live with that. 
we'll be okay in the long run. I get it. It was his dad. Shocking so, moment. What's next for Alex Chen? Gonna go get a job at the record store. I guess I'm asking because I'm in. I mean, that's nice though. Whether it's here or anywhere else. If you want me, I'm there. Thanks, Ryan. You would really leave Haven? Sure. <laughs> What's left for me here anyway? I, unless you were staying. I'm not used to getting to decide what I want. I guess I'd better think about it. I guess so. You know where to find me. That went all right. I didn't want to straight up forgive him right away because he has, there's got to be some repercussions. He's got to feel like it cost something. Steph had my back, though, real fast. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Ryan made a strong case for why I should stay in Haven. Oh my god, do I have to decide? The idea of making this place my home. It seemed nice. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. Whatever I want to do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, That's people true. who actually like you. <laughs> yeah. Why would you give that up? That's true. No, oh, it's just like earlier from the first episode. You know what you're doing, game. And then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? Oh, yeah. I no, you should definitely should... leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> God damn Stop me. it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Aww. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. What? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone wait. I'm gonna risk it. I need the beautiful end music. Ryan approves. Life goes on. You go back to work, you settle into a routine. These are life One day, with almost no warning, Steph up and bolts town. Why? It hurts. But she does offer you a going away present. 
her job. You take it. <laughs> All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little. Oh, it's fall. Time does its thing. Oh, I love autumn. Oh, I love the snow. Oh, that's nice. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, oh. begin to fade into the background. Oh, it's Christmas time, I think. Redecorating. Community run establishment, that's awesome. Yes, Christmas time. Does she have a new boyfriend? Top is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Oh, it's Ryan. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. <laughs> He's so cute. Even or after maybe everything. Maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens. Another festival. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. Aww. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. It's a year later, it looks like it's spring again. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. Or wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Oh. Thank you. That's don't nice. mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. Thanks, Gabe. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars, hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> Pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. Oh, I like that. So, what do you think? Oh, shit. 
Well, you know, Ryan said he would follow me anywhere, but stay in- oh, no, this is a big choice. I like both. But I think I want to stay in Haven. I mean, that's what she was searching for. She was searching for somewhere to belong. And she belongs here. She found a home I know in Haven. What I want. And she should stay. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Come here, Hugo. I think she's kind of been able to find peace here. And I think that that's where Gabe was. And she, I think this is, um, I think it's good. I think it's a good choice. good um the shots are great Trying to enjoy the credits. No. I love that so much. How? Huh. Some great art direction in this game. Alex Chen. Did we open a thing in the barn? No. will be 
under review by YouTube for, for the music. Time, <laughs> I would sit alone and think that I'm better off all by myself, even if I sing. But you found me and you helped me see the light, the dim fluorescent flicker in a dark defeated night i've had my fair share of losing and i've hung on by a thread i would love to work on a life is strange game the memories gain friends and wrote some melodies in the darkness i just couldn't look up the music just so everyone knows my copywriting is or whatever using it for my own and try to let myself in it's so nice looking comes too easily when joy is dangerous damn it Hugo keeps dropping he drops the ball like right on my cords can you take it elsewhere, please? The store that I didn't go into? Hugo! It just ends so abruptly. <laughs> All right, let's see what people did. Alex stayed or Alex had the road to play music. Oh, it's pretty close. Jed forgave Jed. Okay, oh, sorry. Alex forgave Jed. Here you go. Here. Alex claimed that she learned not to fear her emotions. Oh, good. Some members of the council stood with Alex. Good. <laughs> uh, Alex wanted to belong somewhere in the future. Okay. Alex didn't sit on the bed. Alex wasn't ready to forgive Ryan. Really? 4%? I was the only one? Huh. Alright. Charlotte turned her back on Alex. Eleanor sided with Alex. Uh, Pike told Alex to give it up. 
Ducky sided with Alex. Ryan believed Jed. Oh, what did I do to make Ryan not believe me? I thought we did really good together. Like, I... Ryan and Alex start dating in Haven Springs, okay? Steph and Alex don't get together, okay? All right. Well, folks, <laughs> that's it. Um, we'll probably, I'm going to probably buy Steph's story and we'll do a little playthrough on that um, as soon as I am able to get my hands on it. That was very good. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm okay with my ending. I'm okay with my choices. Mostly. Um... Yeah, I don't really have any regrets. I, I'm, I'm okay with the choices that I made. And I think Alex is happy, and I think we did a good job for her. And I'm really pleased with this um, installment into the Life is Strange series. I think it followed up its, its uh, earlier games and made them proud. I think they did really, really, really good on it. So I really enjoyed playing it, you guys. These games will never not be fantastic. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this playthrough. And thank you for going along with this journey with me. Yeah. That's all I have to say, really. I still don't know how to end these things. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just blown away by the game. I just really love it. See you guys next time. <laughs>